Hey there, welcome to this Farming Simulator 22 tutorial on cultivation, ground textures, does it kick up stones, and what does it do to weeds? Stay tuned! Hey there, welcome back to this tutorial series. I'm Mighty Mike, and we're here in the middle of a field that has been recently harvested. We're going to jump right into it, and we're going to take a look at all of the different tillage options and how it affects your weed growth and ground states. So first one we have here, we're going to start with the heaviest option, which is plows. You, you see here the ground texture is broken up really roughly, and you also see some rocks there, so it is kicking up the rocks. Uh, next one we have here, and this is where it gets a li little interesting. We actually have two subsoilers here. Uh, the one on the right is a traditional one with the plows hanging down off the uh, off the subsoiler there. And then the one on the left has the plows, but then also behind it some rollers. So what I've noticed that the one on the right here gave us a cultivated texture, whereas the one on the left, even though it is in the same category of subsoilers, gave us this double tillage texture. So the one on the right does kick up rocks and we can back up here until we can find some on the ground. There we go. There's some rocks there, but the stubble tillage texture does not have any rocks. Next category we have here is a spader and it does kick up rocks and it does give you a cultivated texture. Next one here is the power harrow again with the stubble tillage texture and no rocks. And then we have a disc harrow, again with a stubble tillage texture, no rocks. And then the last two we have here are actually another interesting case. These are both from the cultivator category. The one on the right there is considered a cultivator. The one on the left is considered a shallow cultivator. And let's take a look at the menu here just to show you the difference. The one I have is this one here, the Vector 570 slash 800. And if you notice here, it says a cultivator prepares fields for the next sowing. And this is what's going to give you the cultivated texture. If you look over here to the other one I have, this is a shallow cultivator and it is used for shallow cultivation or seedbed creation of fields. So that is the difference between those two. One is a cultivator and the other is a shallow cultivator. And you can see the cultivator on the right does give us that cultivated ground texture with rocks. And the one on the left is giving us the stubble tillage texture with no rocks. So one thing to note with all of these states of ground tillage if you use a roller over any of them, you will still get the seedbed state. And that is this state here, this uh, aqua green color. So it, it will change every state to look like a seedbed. So I wanted to run a test on how these ground states affect weed growth both before planting and after. So I advance time and I'll pull up a screenshot here and we'll take a look at it. You'll notice in the screenshot that the rows that were shown as cultivated, which are the darker rows, did have weeds pop in. And I did advance the time through four days, four game days, got to the point of full weed growth, but there were only weeds in the cultivated areas and in the uh, areas that had been harvested. The plowed row never had weeds and the stubble tillage rows never had weeds. Now this test was done with seasonal growth off and so there may be some discrepancy there if you turn seasonal growth on. And the other thing to note is that the weeds grew at midnight. That was the only time I noticed their growth. So that is what I had 
found out prior to planting. So what I'm going to do now is I have a cedar back here. I'm going to run this across the rows and go ahead and plant some wheat in the ground. And then I'm going to advance time and see how the weeds grow. All right, here we are on the next day. I've went ahead and advanced time to get some growth. And we can take a look here at the beginning of the rows. And it does match up with the image I posted earlier. We do have weeds in the cultivated states. But there are no weeds in the stubble tillage. So that's very interesting. That would potentially be useful if you wanted to leave a field over a season or keep the weeds from growing over the winter. Maybe that's something you might want to consider if you wanted to uh, try and be a little realistic. But what we're going to look at is how the ground states now affect weeds after you've uh, put something in the ground. All right, we're going to start here with the plowed row and go through these really quick. We have the plowed state here with no weeds. There will be weeds eventually, but the plowed state gives you more time. The cultivated state with the first cultivator here does have a few weeds and they're pretty small. But if we move over to the other cultivator that gave us the stubble tillage texture, you see that the weeds have grown a little bit more and there are a whole lot more of them. Over here to the spader that gave us the cultivated texture. Much like the cultivated textured subsoiler row, we don't have very many weeds and they are small. The power harrow here with the stubble tillage texture, again, more weeds and they are a little bit larger. Same thing with the disc. So everything that's going to give us that stubble tillage texture are going to be the same. And then the areas where we had the cultivator texture is going to be the same. So again, with the cultivator, less weeds and smaller, and then stubble tillage here, we've got a lot more weeds and they are larger. So as you can see there, the types of tillage that you do will affect both the ground textures. It will affect weeds prior to planting and it'll affect weeds after planting. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give me a like. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button today. I'd certainly appreciate that. I do appreciate you watching. We'll see you soon.